Hello, thank you for joining me. I've just arrived at the National Trust Mosley Old Hall in Staffordshire. Here we are, here's the hall in front of us. This is a hall with a very varied and interesting history. It was originally built by a man called Henry Pitt. Now, to look at the hall, it gives the impression that it's a Victorian hall with its bricks and its windows, but it's actually a lot older. It was originally a Tudor framed house, and as I said, it was built by Henry Pitt. It went through various ownerships, but it was the owners who owned it um, in the Victorian times. It was falling into disrepair, so they covered it in brick to give it the appearance it had today. And it eventually passed to a gentleman who wanted to open it to the public, but with Second World War, that didn't happen and it eventually was sold to the National Trust for one pound. So the National Trust have bought the house, and since the 1960s they've looked after it and you're able to come and visit. But its main claim to fame is how it helped hide Charles II after, in 1651 after his defeat at the Battle of Worcester when he went on the run. He hid in this house. He, he slept in one of those bedrooms, and there's a priest hole because... Henry Pitt, who built the house in, in the first place, he was Catholic and he built the house with priest holes. They weren't put in like, added in like they were in some houses. They were actually built as part of the house, which made them much harder to find. So he was hidden in a small priest hole, but he did say it was the best priest hole he'd ever been in. And he was quite sympathetic to the Catholic faith. So we're just going to go through here. We've seen the front of the house. We're going to go through here and I'm going to show you another one of the most famous features of Mosley Old Hall is here, it's its knot garden. Possibly one of the best knot gardens you can see and um, it's what Mosley Old Hall is known for. So if you stand here, look across the knot garden at the hall. So if you imagine originally that was all Tudor, all of this brick, it's not a brick house at all, you can imagine it as a Tudor house, there's actually a model inside. I'll, what I'll do is I'll also post some pictures of inside the house, and I'll post some pictures of the model, so you'll be able to see this same elevation as it would have appeared when the hall was new. So it really is worth going inside. They do a very good guided tour. It took about an hour to go round, but it, they really showed you everything they told us all about King Charles II, where he slept, where he hid. So. I really do recommend coming here. I'm just going to show you some of the grounds. So we've just come through this tunnel. It's, this is all, I like how they've done it with timber. It's all timber, there's no nails at all. We're going to now go through this beach tunnel. And come round the corner into a hazel avenue. And down the bottom we have wild garlic, so it smells quite nicely of wild garlic unfortunately the camera can't record the smell so it does smell of that wild garlic he smells so looking through there is little Morton Hall I'm going to now show you some of the gardens so these are the orchards where there's uh, very, there's some tea rooms over there and some of the old barns because it is really it's just a farmhouse but it had its claim to fame with helping hide Charles II so we're just now walking through here. There's one of their orchards on the other side of these hazels. Well, let's just have a quick, a very quick look. So through here is the orchard. You can see the blossom on the apple trees. I'm now going to take you through into the woodlands because the woodlands is quite exciting here. So as we go out here, So Charles was, as I said, he hid here when he was on the run. He also hid at, at Boscobel House, which isn't that far. Boscobel House is English heritage, not National Trust, but it is also worth a visit. You can see it looks like some children have been having fun building dens in the woodland. So I'm going to take you now down through the woodlands, because there's one thing here. It's not a historic thing, but it's really exciting. I really like it, and I would like to show it to you. So... We're just going to follow this woodland path out there are the meadows which are, are also pleasant to walk in. So we're not far from the, the West Midlands urban area, although it really does give the feeling that we're somewhere rural. Just on the other side of the woods there 
field so it feels like you're out in the countryside you can just hear the noise of the m54 though which is isn't is only just over there and um, occasionally you hear a train traveling between wolverhampton and stafford so keep going down through the woodlands They've made like here, I quite like it, I'm not going to go through it, but they've made like a tunnel for children to crawl through the bushes, which I think is quite nice. I certainly would have loved that, doing that as a child. You can see it comes out there. So there's a lot for children to do here to get them to enjoy being outside. They've even got a mud kitchen encouraging them to come here and make mud pies. I'm sure if I'd done that as a child, my mother would have been delighted with me coming home all muddy, but it's still, it's good fun if you're for, for children who would like to do that. So, continuing down into more of a pine woodland, you can see Scott's pine trees, hear the birds singing. So out there is the meadow, which forms part of the walk here. So it's not a huge estate, but you can walk around the meadow and through the woodlands. Now, I said about... Um, King Charles II when he hid at Boscobel House. Now the other place he hid at Boscobel House was in an oak tree and that's why you get many pubs known as the Royal Oak. Well what they've done here, which I think is really quite good, they've made a tree house around an oak tree so it's not... Charles II didn't hide in an oak tree here but he as a nod to what he did they've made it now there's it's really quite exciting because all sorts of different ways up you can go up a rope you can go up inside there's various part steps taking you up i like this one here how they've made some spiral staircases out of the trees they've probably found the estate so if we go up here come up to this level so you can see if you want you can come up up there you can climb up and go up. There's one more set of steps to take us to the top. So if we go up there, oh, there's a lady coming down, which we'll let her get down. Um, so yeah, that's, that way looks quite fun. You climb your way up and climb through here, or you can climb up a rope. I'm not particularly good at climbing up ropes. What is this sort of ladder like to climb up? one more person coming down so as soon as everyone's down I'm going to go up so I'm going to take you up this last set of steps here we go we're just coming up to the top now this is really good what they've done they've even made a bench look at that like a it's like a couchette you can sort of you know just sort of sit down and enjoy being up here so I think this is a really exciting thing to have in a National Trust property. I know it's not historic but I really like it and if you look out so where, that's where we came up look out over there there's a pond and then if we look that way we can see the meadows. I don't know if you may have seen I made a video near Wyndham in Norfolk where I found a smaller but little lookout tower. I said you tend to get these things in Eastern Europe more, especially in Hungary, but you don't get them so much here. So to find one like this is really good. So as I said in that video, I'd, I think these things are great and I wish we had more of them. But anyway, from Boscobel House, the place where King Charles II hid from the parliamentar parliamentarian soldiers. Um, thank you very much for watching and if you're passing the West Midlands, do come visit. So, yeah, once again, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.